Hello everyone and welcome back to Suigiden 2. In the last episode we had a major battle for Muse. We fought Lucia and the Koreans again. Joey and Highland were here and we saw them but they left the Koreans here to fend for themselves. Now we're in Muse and if you remember, the last time we saw Muse we saw it completely decimated by a huge monstrous beast and nobody knew what it was. All we know is that we haven't been in Muse since. Now here we are and things seem a little bit strange. It's really quiet here. Maybe they're all at a ceremony or something like Miklatov said. Hmm. I don't know. Try to make your way up to the city hall. Because that's where we're going to have to go. What's happened? Lord Ryu? What is it? No. I thought I saw something inside. Like a shadow moving, maybe. Hmm. What should we do? Do you want to go inside? Our stride just put one nail in, but... I just can't leave this kind of thing alone. <laughs> no, no, he can't. You can look around here, but... Really, just go inside. Uh, a monster! What? <laughs> Help! What's happening? Whoa, uh-oh. What is it? This is a boss fight. This is the Golden Wolf. I can't remember off the top of my head how much HP he has. I want to say it's around 10,000, but I could be wrong. So here's our party. Ryu, George, Pesmerga, Nanami, Luke, and Clive. Most of them you've seen before, so I won't explain too much. He's actually pretty easy, despite his looks. He is very strong, though, against magic. So you want to be careful there, because, um... If you bring too many magic users like Luke along, they won't do as much as you would probably like. So that's something to keep, uh... To keep in mind. That's why I brought a lot of beaters. Clive, uh, George, and Pesmerga are all pretty good in the damage department. And that's what we're going to be using them for here, is to beat on these guys real bad. A little talk about Pesmerga, because I didn't talk about him before. Um, basically... He's really strong, especially if you get him at 99. He's, like, unstoppable. However, he has a couple of, of, of cons, which one of them is you can't change his armor at all except for accessories because, um, because that, that fancy black armor, the same that Uber wears, is basically, like, his armor, so you can't take it off. So that's one of the drawbacks of him. He can also only hold one rune slot, so I put a double beat on him up to you what you want to do there. So he does have some cons, but we're going to see him in action now and see how it goes. He's very strong, much like George, although George is probably one of the strongest party members you get. So he definitely won't do that much damage, but he's up there. He's certainly up there. Good thing we put that defense on. I would suggest that you do that. Because this guy is kind of a pain in the butt. He's very quick. I don't like bosses that are quick and then can do too many turns before we get to do a turn. That doesn't sit well with me. Another con about Pesmerger is he's actually pretty slow. So if you have him in a party, uh, get him with somebody and the spark room. Uh, because that'll help him go faster. He's painfully slow. It's ridiculous how slow he is, actually. I, I hate it. But other than that... I, I love him. <laughs> so, he's got a few cons. That's really all. Let's go ahead and heal and not pull any punches here. And then just go on as you go. I don't think Nana has anything we can really use. Um, I'm gonna have her... Uh, we already did repel magic, pretty much. I'm gonna have her heal herself because she's low on the field there. What do we got? We'll keep Shining Wind. Black Shadow, let's do it. And let's do it. Like I said, the wolf is strong to magic, so Luke or Mazes or whoever you have will not do as much damage as they normally do and certainly not as much as you would like. Bring uh, a mixture of a good magic user and beaters. And you should have him down. I don't feel that he's that hard. Especially if you have everybody's weapons sharpened to 15, which you should by now. And have the best armor you can buy on everybody. You shouldn't have a problem. 
Let's see how much this does. Oh, he's already dead. What am I even worried about? He's easy. It's actually really weird how easy this boss is at this point in the game. I kind of wish they'd made it harder. What in the hell is this thing? Ah! What? what? What's going on now? <laughs> What's this? Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh no. Uh oh. Damn! Let's run! Now, I can't remember if you can fight these. I think you may be able to. I kind of want to see what happens if we do. You do, you just fight it again. <laughs> you know what? We're going to do it. I don't care. Uh, don't do this normally. But, um, I can't remember if they're exactly the same. They may be. <laughs> Let's do a Unite. Why not? Let's beat it down and see what happens. Yeah, you usually wouldn't want to go and do this. Um... I knew that you could fight them. Usually you just run away. They'll just keep respawning anyway. So you don't have to do this. I just... We'll do it once more. I feel like we don't get to see these awesome battles with good sprites. 1100 damage. That's ridiculous. And a knockdown. Oh my god. We're beating the crap out of this guy. Still 389, which on a Black Shadow is terrible. That should be doing like seven, 700 plus with Luke. That's just awful. Come on, beat him up. Uh, you def... Oh, sorry. Uh, what do we got on Blue Gate? Pale Palace, I like it. Do it. This one's... Oh, psh. I think this one's a little bit less than the one you fight in the hall. Just barely. If you need money or something for some reason, I guess you can fight these guys, but see, they're just gonna come back. So they just run away. So now, let's just get out of here. Just run out, there's nothing you can do. Are you okay, Ryu? Yes, I'm fine. Victor, she didn't even ask you. But what's that? That family, they're servants of the Beast Rune. Beast Rune? Yes, I heard it was passed down from High Priest Sasurai to the Blight Clan when Highland divided from the Holy Kingdom of Harmonia. You guys remember who Sasurai is, right? He's the guy that we saw on the major battlefield who looks a lot like Luke, like uncannily like him. And he said that he knew him. So here's a little bit of uh, history on this. So it's a rune that's causing this trouble. They've become servants, slaves to that rune. So, Luca Blight sacrificed all the people of Muse. So that thing really does exist, eh? The beast rune can only be awakened with a blood sacrifice. And what happens if it wakes up? Well, if it's been woken up, I guess it might manifest itself as a huge bloodthirsty demon. But I think the rune itself was carried off somewhere. I don't sense its power anymore. Good thing we have Luke with us. He shows up anyway. Lord Ryu! Oh, Lord Ryu, it's terrible! Those Highland soldiers are back! Fitcher! Damn, what's going on now? It looks like they were waiting for this moment. Haha! <laughs> They're attacking from the north and east! We'll have to escape to the west! Okay, let's hurry! Wait, it's a trick. They're attacking in small numbers. I bet soldiers are laying in ambush to the west and south. General Hauser, get your troops together and attack north. Thrust right into the center of the attackers and then retreat. Oh, that's why they retreated. They wanted us to come in here. Now they've got us trapped like rats with the beasts inside. There won't be any soldiers waiting to ambush you there. I understand. Hurry and get away, Ryu. What about you guys? I'm going to leave without you.
Lord Ryu, I'm glad you're safe. But now we're in trouble. We couldn't retake Muse. Now we're out of options. It's true. I guess Highland got back in there once we left. What's left of it, anyway? I'm sure we'll have plenty of good ideas by tomorrow. Don't worry too much, Ryu. Get some good food and rest. You always do. Alright guys, here's the thing. At this point in the game, if you have just seen those events, save your game immediately. And what I would do is save it on a slot that you've never used before or don't plan on using ever again. Understand what I mean? You want to keep the slot open just in case. Because there's going to be some events now that you may or may not get, and if you don't get them, you have to reset. So I'm going to go ahead and save over here. Keep that one safe, don't overwrite it. Trust me on this. Now, before we continue, make sure you have every single Star of Destiny, all 108. If you don't, something's gonna screw up here real bad for you. You won't get the best ending, okay? The next thing we have to do is once you have 108 stars, go up and find Shu. Yeah, I think he's up here on the second floor. Actually, this isn't really considered the second floor anymore. It's all moved around. I forget which one he's on. Here we go. This is what we need to see. You want to see me, Lord Shu? General Kiba, I have a great favor to ask of you. What's this about? I'm listening. The next battle will most likely determine the outcome of the war. If we hope to win, we're going to have to take a gamble. It will be a hard battle. Highland and the Unicorn Army continue to glare at each other across the divide of the Great Lake. And although the Matilda Knightdom has surrendered, the area is still unstable and the Highland Army can't pull their forces away. You're saying that even if we take the gamble, we can't defeat Matilda? So then, what do you... I want you to take a regiment to attack Victor's old fort east of Meuse. Even if Highland realizes it's a decoy, they'll have to divide their army to defend the Highland Kingdom from you. They'll probably call upon Leon Silverberg to do it. Sending him all the way over there by himself? With a troop? Is that the best idea? Remember Victor's old fort where we first started out? It's all Highland territory over there now. Everything over there is Highland ruled. And that's like smack dab in the middle of the map. He'll be surrounded. Lord Shu, since my defeat, I feel I've lost my place in this world. But when I see Lord Ryu, see him charm these people and transcend this war, it may be inappropriate for a general, but it makes me believe in miracles. Lord Shu, I don't need your men. The soldiers who have followed me from Highland will be enough. Thank you, General Kiba. Lord Shu, it is not like you to bow to the likes of me. Please take care of my son. Under your tutelage, he will become a brilliant strategist. Oh, I don't like the way he's talking here. Nothing's gonna happen to Kiba. He's like a mountain. He's gonna be okay. All right. I think if you talk to him, he doesn't really say anything to you. Lord Ryu, I've formed a new strategy. This fight will be the decisive battle between the Unicorn Army and Highland. The forces behind this war are about to reach their limit. The winners will win everything. The losers will lose everything. Both the state and Highland will be betting their existence on this battle. You have two choices. One is to stay the course, this is the easy road, but it is the path to defeat. The other is to fight for victory for all, this is a thorny path, but it is the path of kings. I await your decision, Lord Ryu. Well, basically... <laughs> I 
I'm going to say not yet, just for this moment. The people who have joined the Unicorn Army have many reasons for fighting, but don't forget that they share a belief in you. Talk to me when you have decided. Now here's the part I can't remember. Do we have to go up to our room now to have something happen? We're looking for something specific. Hang on. Did I go too far? Is this my room? <laughs> I think this is my room now. Dude! We got sweet digs. Oh, I guess we don't sleep. Oh, for some reason I thought we had to sleep. Ignore what I've just done. <laughs> that was the wrong thing. I guess we do decide now. Before you go ahead with this decision, again, please make sure that you have all 108 stars of destiny and also whether or not you've used Nanami in your party a lot to this point, even if you haven't used her and you don't plan on using her, you must level her up. I would get her to the same level that Ryu is, or your hero, at least. Also, make sure she has very good defensive items on. Everybody got that? That's all I'm saying. Make sure that's a thing before you say yes here. We'll fight. I understand. Assemble everyone in the meeting room. Everyone's here. Well, just about everyone. It's not all 108. They don't think they could have fit them. Listen carefully, everyone. Now that Highland has taken Matilda, their army numbers 55,000. Ours is a mere 25,000 or so. If we meet them head on, we will likely be crushed. So, we have to split our army. General Kiba's troops will head east of Meuse outside the Highland Kingdom. Highland will split their army to keep him from getting too close. That is when the rest of our army will attack Matilda. Then it will be closer to 3,000. Sorry, 30,000 versus 20,000. This is a gamble. And since we are risking everything, it's a big gamble. But if we don't risk our lives, we can't win this war. This will be the fiercest battle yet, and anyone unwilling to die should leave now. You will not be pursued. No one will blame you. Nobody knows what to do. We're all ready to die if need be. We can't give up now. We'll all be laughed at. Any craftsman would be ashamed to begin a job and not finish it. Then let's go! We will show them the might of the kobolds! We didn't come this far to not see things through to the end. You always say stuff like that! We will fight. For everyone. For ourselves. I... I... Oh. What are you saying? We've come too far to run away. Isn't that right, Ryu? That's right. We've known Ryu for a long time. We must lend him our strength now. Let's go, Ryu! There's no way wingers are gonna lose to humans, Ryu! Lord Ryu, we will protect you with the pride of the kobolds and the pride of the people of Two River City. It is a soldier's duty to follow orders. Lord Ryu, I have already given my life to you. You may use it as you please. Ha 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 Lord Ryu? Mr. Ryu? Let's do it, Ryu. It'll be okay. I promise. We'll win. I know it. Wow, everyone's behind us. So you only have one choice here. Yeah, of course! Oh, here's Leaknot. Ryu, you've assembled many heroes around you. The bright shield on your right hand and the black sword Joey holds are the two aspects of the Rune of Beginning. Power to decide this war 
cold, uncompromising power. The 108 stars of destiny and the bearer of the bright shield rune have now been assembled. This is proof of his right. The bright shield rune seal may now be broken. Ryu, your right hand. May the thoughts of the 108 stars be as one and grant Ryu new power. Oh. Now you can use the full power of this rune. Ryu, may you always stride with honor upon the path you tread. It's time to get ready. Everything is riding on this battle, so leave nothing to regret. Yeah, that cutscene with Leek Nat is very important. If you went through that and didn't get her to unlock what just happened, you need to reset. You didn't do something correctly. Ryu, wake up! It looks like General Kiba's army is getting ready to leave. Come on, we have to see them off. Alright, let's do it. Basically, what she unlocked is called Forgiver Sign. It's Ryu's highest order of spell. If you did not get that, then you didn't recruit all 108 stars of destiny correctly and you need to go back and figure out what you did wrong. Make sure you unlock Forgiver Sign. Very important. Lord Ryu, we've made it a long way. I promise we'll win this one too. Well, we must depart, my lord. Good fortune to you. Good fortune to you too, father. Klaus, serve Lord Ryu with honor. I will. I've always been proud of you, my son. No, father. It's I who am proud to have you as my father. I don't like this. I don't like how he's saying goodbye. There they go. We can win. I know it. Yes, we can win this battle. We must win this battle. Well, Shu should be waiting. Let's go to the meeting room. Alright. Now you have free reign again. So if you did forget to do some things, you can do them now. Let's take a look. So now we have Forgiver Sign. You can see it heals 2,000 HP for all allies. It's really good. You get one. But it is the final unlock of the Bright Shield Rune. Make sure that you get this for the best ending. Very important. Alright, so in the next episode we'll do some things. I have to decide what we're going to do next. Because we really have some choices here. Obviously there's going to be a big part of of the story coming up now. So we have to kind of decide if it we're still ready to take a break and do some other things around the castle, if we want to just go to the story. It gets a little fuzzy for me here because it's been a while since I've played this through. So I'm not sure how many more times we're going to actually have to stop and smell the roses, so to speak. So we have to be careful. I'm saving it now because I want to go check real quick to see if we can do another cook-off because we're not done with that technically. And I would like to be because I, I feel that it's something you guys have put up with this whole time. So I want you to be able to see all of them if possible. Let's go see if we can do that. I don't know if enough time has passed. I think so. We'll find out. I probably won't do everything because there's so many things like the theater and the baths. I mean, if you guys want, we can do bonus episodes of that later. Oh, sure enough. What's happening now? Why are you just standing here by yourself? I've got to be Retzel, but I don't know if I can. You can do it. Don't worry, Hayo. I know that you can win next time. What now? Oh, goodness. Every time someone runs in now, I'm always freaking out. Hayo, there's someone here who looks like uh, who looks like a chef that's here to see you. Huh? He's here already, but I'm not ready. Too bad. You're gonna have to be. Excuse me. Is your name Hayo? 
Who are you? Are you from the group? What? Group? No, no, I'm not. Antonio asked me to come here and help you with your training. My name is Lester. I used to work with Antonio. My training? You're a friend of Antonio? That's right. We'd better hurry up and get started. But first I need to see how good you are. Let's have a cook-off. Oh, I forgot about this part. <laughs> Let's do it. I guess you need the training, although I thought Hayo was pretty good. I think that other dude just cheated. How do you get five stars on fucking crab salad for dessert? I'm still pissed about that. Oh no, look at this lineup then. What? Who's done this? Luke, really? He hates everything. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well. Who do we got? He spends his time running in circles. No wonder he'll eat pretty much anything you put in front of him. It's Stallion. Stallion's a good one. He likes mostly everything. He'll be a great dad someday, but maybe he's too quick to say that. Everything is delicious. It's Freed. Freed also is a good one. He's a powerful sorcerer with a good face, but a bad personality. It's Leaknat's pupil, Luke. <laughs> oh my god, that's the best description of him ever. Wait, what? 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 Why aren't you saying anything about Barbara? Oh no, that was Luke being smarmy. He didn't like his his thing, I guess. He didn't like what he said about him. Vault Keeper of Victory Castle. She likes most kinds of food. It's Barbara. Wow, so actually we got good, good ones this time. We got three out of four that like anything, pretty much. Alright, Challenger. Lester. Out of nowhere. And then... Hi-yo! Alright, let's do this. Since they like anything, let's go with- let's try to go with things we haven't made. Um, let's do... Man, I feel like I've- I feel like I've done a lot of these, but I really haven't, is the thing. Let's do... Bing! Bing! Let's do gyoza. Gyoza are really good. If you guys have never had gyoza, it's like Japanese, like, uh, fried dumplings. Oh my gosh, they're so delicious, let me just tell you. Uh, let's see now. Um, what haven't we done? We did pasta last time, but we lost that because we had to. What haven't we done as a... We could do pizza. Anchovy pizza, nobody likes that. Senbei, not well, that might work. That's a Japanese thing. Okonomiyaki, also a Japanese thing. Red pepper. Spicy pizza, let's do it. Uh, I hope this works, oh my god. And then let's do cake with sugar. Yes, that's my favorite. All right, let's do it, button mash time. Go! <laughs> Cook that food. Cook that food while Fu Ten Chen runs all over the place, blowing into his megaphone, saying God knows what. Oh my gosh, hurry up! Mashing buttons. It is hard work. I'm fairly certain that this one is easy to win. There we go. Alright, what did he make? Pizza bun. Oh man, he copied our idea. That fool. They didn't like it very much. Oh man, I hope they like my pizza actual better. <sighs> it's gonna suck if they don't. Yeah, fried gyoza. So good. What? Luke and Barbara, you are full of shit. Everyone likes gyoza. They're really, really delicious. Luke's just an asshole. He's gonna give a one on everything, probably. Sushi. I love sushi. Oh, seriously? Wow, okay, we we might not win this, actually. We have to be very careful here. Luke, what the hell, man? Luke doesn't like a thing, I'm not kidding. Aw, <laughs> oh, look at that, it looks so good. Spicy pizza. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I hope this is enough to win, holy shit, we're gonna have to bag it on dessert. What did he make for dessert? A meat pie for dessert? What is wrong with these people? No, man. You don't... You gotta serve dessert for dessert. What is this? 
You can't call it dessert then if you're serving like shit like that. Anyone? Luke, shut up. <laughs> what an ass. God, I love him so much. Did we win? We might have only won that by a hair. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, here we go. Oh, dude, again, a very close one. Wow, that was close. I kind of didn't think too much about it. But we did okay. All right. Ha ha ha. I can see that you learned a lot from Antonio. You're very good. Oh no, no, not at all. You are holding back. What? Oh really? Why? Just watch how Lester moves and you'll understand. Okay then. Do you remember how Retzo moved when he was cooking? Eh? It couldn't be. I can't believe it. <laughs> Racism. You finally understand. Your eyes may be open, but if your heart is closed, you cannot see the truth. You are already strong enough. You can defeat Retzo if you try. This is a gift from my heart. I hope it will help you. Farewell then, my friend. Perhaps we may meet again. We got sushi recipe. I will eat all the sushi. Give it to me, please. You don't mean that, Ratzel. Well, still got more to go on that story. But for now, we're going to end it here. And I will see you guys in the next one. I think the next one will progress some story. I think we have to at this point because we just had the cook-off. We can't go back and get another one that instant. So we go forward. What's going to happen when we go to Matilda? A lot. So stay tuned for that, guys. See you later.